Well, good morning. It is a beautiful day out here for a snow recovery, so I have you pointing that way instead of back at me because that's a better view. Uh, it sounds like last night someone went out of uh, Tumalo Falls and got around the gate or through it or something into the closed off area that is during the winter time a cross country skiing and snowshoeing trail. During the summer it is open for a road, but right now it's most definitely closed. They got out there, got stuck, and then now we are heading out to go get their vehicle out. And uh, I've got uh, the Sheriff's Department meeting me out here in just a bit to get the gate open for us so we can go in there and uh, get their rig out and see what we find. We'll uh, get the Jeep warming up, get it untied, unloaded, and then we'll head down the road to the trailhead and the gate. Meet up with the sheriff's deputy with the key and the customer. Then we'll head out the trail and see what we find. All right. Getting some weird looks, of course. Let's head down the road. All right, good thing about now it's daylight get a better view of this. Alright, this is the trailhead and from here out is all closed down and is snowshoeing and hiking, cross country skiing only. In the summertime, this road opens up and you can drive uh, about, I think it's about two miles out to the falls. Uh, but in the wintertime, it's Nordic Trail is what it's called. All right, Sheriff showed up and opened the gate, so off we go. Turn around and we'll just hook up to your receiver, the receiver shackle, and pop you back out of here up on the ruts and then back out as far as you can to a good spot to turn around. Sounds good. Alright, got the mats off road recovery rope hooked up. I'm going to pull real easy and slow to make sure this all breaks free and isn't frozen in place. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and pop you up out of here and we'll get up in these main ruts and I'll take you backwards a little ways and just try to stay as center as you can. Right. So, like I said, normally I would winch once they've been frozen in place for a while but we'll just pull real slow and easy make sure it comes free and then we'll give it a pull and get it out of here well, i saw two of the tires move okay all the tires moved, so we're good. This took a little bump. Now, I'm gonna go off the side a bit here. To try to pull him back to the center. Okay, so we got him up on the road, unhooked. He should be able to, oops, ran into that roll bar there. Um, and everybody who asks about this, it's just a grab handle. It's just like sheet metal screwed to the side. It's nothing special. Uh, he should be able to back out on his own quite a ways from here until we find a spot to turn him around and then go out forward. All right, so we backed up for a ways, got to a little bit of a wider spot, had him back around to the ditch. He was able to make it that far on his own. 
Now I'll just grab his front end and pull him out of here. And it'll be way easier to go out forward. But look at this. Like, is that not like the best view ever for an office? Sometimes you look up there, you see people climbing up the rocks and stuff. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can pop it up out of there. on his own from there. Alright, now everyone is facing the right direction. He should be able to drive out on his own from here. Now we got this one hill to climb here. It's pretty icy. As long as he makes it up that, I think he's golden. But it is pretty slick. And it does have like a drop off off to the side there. So he's getting some momentum. Perfect, no problem. Let him go out first, and we'll follow along. That way we can cruise and enjoy this amazing view. Like, I have the best job in the world. You can't beat this. All right, Jeep's back on the trailer tied down, and uh, thanks to Gavin, I think. Yeah, it works. So what ended up being the problem, my key fob was not the dead battery. Everybody thought it wasn't the push it with the fob thing. I know how to do that. It was the microprocessor broke off the circuit board inside. So all the little tricks and all that stuff don't work when the, the processor itself falls apart. So. Gavin at uh, Elite Fleet soldered it all back together. Now it works no problem. All right, well that was a pretty easy one. Uh, big thank you to the Sheriff's Department for uh, coming out and getting the gate open for us. Huge, huge help. Actually, more than just help because without that we wouldn't have done this. So thank you guys again for that. And then uh, other than that, super easy job. Just popped him out of there backwards with the kinetic rope, got him spun around, and then he's able to drive out on his own. So easy one on my part, uh, just a quick little short one. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.